Now at six, we are awaiting a jury's decision in a case centered on this wrong way crash from five years ago. A Tampa grandfather was killed, and the man police say is responsible is Stephen Palaveda. Fox 13's Gloria Gomez was there for his trial and tells us what the jury heard today. From the very beginning, Stephen Pelvita has tried to dodge responsibility for the fiery crash that killed a Tampa grandfather five years ago. It was no different at his trial. He was the only person that got out of any vehicles that night. The defense hinted someone else may have been behind the wheel of his Ford F-150 pickup the night of the deadly collision. And that one man was the defendant, he was the driver, he left the scene, he was under the influence, he was driving in a reckless manner, and that resulted in the death of Bamnet Naranchai. The defense called a mechanical engineer who tested the seat belts in order to determine if both were used that night, but couldn't say for sure. The fire, he said, was just too intense. So because of the fire, you're not able to render an opinion that there was people in both seats, is that right? It's just not enough information. Prosecutors say in October of 2018, Pale Vita was driving drunk and the wrong way on the Selman Expressway. They say he collided head on with another driver. 68-year-old Bamet Narangchai was killed in the fiery explosion. They say Pelvita tried to flee the crime scene, but didn't get very far. Police say during questioning, he was acting erratic, even climbing on a police vehicle. He denied involvement and appeared unfazed when police told him someone had died in the crash. No, I said it to him, I think two or three times. And at that point, he was uh, rambling, ranting, raving about all kinds of things. Prosecutors say Pelvita's blood alcohol level was three times over the legal limit. Now a jury will decide if a series of bad decisions led to the death of a beloved grandfather. Gloria Gomez, Fox 13 News.